Ja hoolaama laak olaama olaamata. Ja hoolaama laak jaami rankis. Ja hoola gadolla ma kärri on tios. Ja hoola erdonai, ja hoola elohim. Kurios tios panta kreta. Kurios tios vestos. Elda et ja hoola. Jäl ja muna ja hoola. Ibas Leon Kurios, Otios, Opanta Kreta, Baslios Baslion, Kai Kurios Kurio, Yehova the Bar Halal, Elohim the Bar Halal, Yehova Elohim, Gadol Gadol Geber, El Elohim Israel, Jesus Christos, Ton Christon is in Ton Kurio. Kurion ni mahagion pente kreta gadol gadol kebur. Yehova ishmal kam, Yehova shamma. Yelna kum Yehova, yelna kum yap. Netzak Israel la shaker, gava gava. Triambas Yehova, Jesus Christos pente kreta gadol gadol kebur. Mora Rosh Nasa, Elohim, Elohim. Ille Ilai Shalut, Yehovah Malak. Yehovah Malak, Olam, Olam Ad. Yehovah Elohino, Yehovah Ekad, Gadol, Gadol, Gedul. Zaan Logan, Ogar, Tautios. Dulas, Desmias, Despotes. Dikai Sune, Jesus Christos. Kurion, Kurion, Kurion. Hagion, Hagion, Hagion. Numa, Panta, Greta. Gadol, Gadol, Geber. Yehova, Ihe, Elohim. Yehova, Ihe, Elohim. Ilela, Eshalut. Yehova, Malak. Yehova, Malak. Olam, Olam, Hurt. Yehova, Malak. Jesus Christos, Gadol Gadol, Kibra. Yehova, Yehova El Yehova. Yehova Rakum Shan. Yehova El Arak Api. Rab Kesed Emet. Yehova, Mine Mine Tikeo Ufas. Derek. Emana Bakar, Mishvat, Shav. The Megalogai of Yahweh, El Elyon Elohim, is always alive and powerful, sharper than any two edged sword, piercing even to the dividing asunder of the soul and the spirit and the joints and the body. And it is a critic of thoughts and intents of the heart. All scripture is God breathed and is profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, and for instruction in righteousness, a training in righteousness, that the man of Lord God might be mature, thoroughly furnished unto all good works. Study to show thyself a prudent to Lord God, a workman that needeth not to be ashamed. Rightly dividing the word of truth, a very accurately handling this very great, unique, infallible, and inerrant great word of truth. Glory be to my Yahweh Sidkenu to the highest, and peace be unto the mankind on this earth, to those who believe in my Lord and Saviour Jesus Christ, by faith alone in Christ alone. Great goodness and goodwill towards them who love to walk breath by breath in the cherishing and in the nurturing of this great and unique and well mentoring ministry of Lord God the Holy Ghost. One more day being renewed in our lives to the praise of Lord God's glory, realizing the great 
wonders of the word of Lord God which is our life the sole reason why Christ our Lord of God has given this great privilege to live as a human being on this earth is to understand his why to learn the great and deep things of the Lord's word and to teach the things pertaining to the Lord's mind accurately because Numbers 14 21 says truly as the word could be over here but as truly the word truly is nothing but called as ulam u l a m and ulam is nothing but to say in spite if there are no disciples in their vigor and valor of Aleph energy given for them on this life how could the earth be made to look or to understand the real care kind of life called to be 2416 code of life not associated with the first Adam but with the last Adam called to be the quickening spirit if you don't have that disciple oriented indeed or the word Ula then how come the earth will be filled with the glory of the Lord so dear brother use the privacy of your priesthood to confess your sins through rebound and let's come back and continue what Lord God the Father has prepared and kept for us on today's date in eternity past to the praise of his glory in his matchless marvelous infinite wide glorious grace so with our head bored, we need to make up the things confession of our sins and we shall come back and continue after this prayer God is spirit and they that worship him must worship him in spirit and biblical truth and making up our lives to realize how truly the earth has to be filled with the glory of the Lord our God demands indeed the Lord lives and reigns forever if he's living the 2416 kind of life in the Zopo on the Numa given for the sinful mankind to understand the Lord's word then how much more we ought to be in realizing and understanding what a great life we have been given for us to cherish and nourish in this pilgrimage trip we shall continue after this prayer sanctify yourselves to look upon the great and unique pale of wonders of the Lord's morning infinitely divine holy father once again coming unto the marvelous grace of Lord to learn the truth father we have nothing on this earth O Lord to cherish and nourish but Lord we have only one thing to realize your pale wonders to be our life in that we cherish and nourish O Lord and in that we make up our lives to be for your glory so father as we come once again to study the mind in the fellowship of Lord God the Holy Spirit we pray the mentoring ministry of Lord God the Holy Ghost would enlighten and challenge and bless us by the message which are prepared and kept for us in a treaty pass to understand for today's date that we have been called us to make known to this world that indeed truly you alone reign and live forever and forever so father as we study them in the fellowship of Lord God the Holy Spirit we pray the mentoring ministry of Lord God the Holy Spirit to enlighten to challenge and to bless us by this message in Christ's name we ask sorry Lord In Deuteronomy chapter 14, in verse 3, followed by verse number 2, starting the context over there with verse number 3, he said, You shall not eat that which is abominable thing. And the word over here, abominable thing, is called to be toeba. 
and the meaning of the word to'eba is nothing but which is making to look in the viewpoint of man as authoritative that which is pleasing to the body that meant to say what human viewpoint of thinking and that's called disgusting thing in the sight of man because men are looking upon their own thinking today if we can look upon in the world any research anything whatsoever they want to make up in this life to call as renovation or new discovery or xyz it's nothing but abominable thing because it doesn't contain the lord's mind there only lord god the father can give you the right thinking the right basis the right life you know to illustrate that if you haven't read the newspaper you're not informed if you have read the newspaper you are misinformed because no one is telling the truth they want to be the first to give you the information but not the truth not the consequences of all the things which has to be associated with a careful examination and revealing nothing but the truth because as we have been called to be christians on this earth after the pattern of my lord and savior jesus christ in john chapter 18 before pontius pilate he said he has been born to witness the truth and we have to be giving truth to this world and if you don't give the truth it becomes an abominable thing so what is truth where is truth who is truth lord and savior jesus christ is the truth His mind revealed and kept for us in 66 books in the original Hebrew Greek and Aramaic not in the translations is the truth The translations are going to give you something closer and you cannot build upon that which is not a founded one You cannot stand upon a table and say that you're going to hold up the things because the four legs of the table are going to hold the things not the space in the table over there If the four legs are not proper then you cannot stand on the table the four legs are the original language of the scriptures what we have been given for us and we have to make up our life to understand the lord's mind in the viewpoint of such thinking which has been called for us over here and this thinking what we look over here to emphasize in simple words abominable thing are nothing but they make up it as an authority because it's a few point of their life depending upon the demands of this body does it becomes like an abominable filth disgusting thing and therefore it is something that which has been hated it's a disgusting dear brother every time over here you need to look this abominable thing whenever we come you have to understand it begins up with a thought process it also begins up with your everything called to be living on this earth Therefore we have been said in Galatians 5 if ever you breathe you breathe in the spirit That's what the word what we can call over there in Galatians chapter 6 when he would say A chapter 5 in verse number 14 it has to be he said In the things pertaining to the spirit of the Lord God if he says that This I say then walk in the spirit and you will not fulfill the lust of the flesh and therefore he works further to say in verse 18 but if you be led of the spirit you are not under the law and coming to verse number 25 he said if you live in the spirit let us also walk in the spirit so the word live is called to be za o kind of life that meant to say what if ever you breathe and what it has to be your 2421 kind of a life which has been set for us over here to be kaya which has to be built up like a wall of fortification which is going to make you up after believing in the lord and savior jesus christ in the first process of your first adam 
and this sort of life which has been called over here for us he would say if you're living that life if ever you want to live that life the zao kind of life he said then you shall also walk in that spirit the word called to be store icon and that's nothing but to make up in a proper order setting up the things in proper order setting up the things according to the standards of the lord's word where you can clearly understand that you have to grow up into grammatics into thought process to be renovated not to be like the world that's what romans 12 1 2 and 3 is all about that's the word what we're going to call if ever you want to be in store icon process and today we people are letting go the store icon process putting up like a grammatics program in a thought process to be renovated as per the demands of the word of god so dear brother he said if ever you live in the spirit you also make up to walk in the spirit and this store icon process which is very very important called to be marching but rather than marching if you can look in the hebrew it's called to be kasir it would go further to say you have to grow up into grammatics program you have to renovate your thinking to such an extent that your head is been absolutely clear with the thought process of the law such a store icon process the problem is you're not able to breathe in the spirit therefore what you're doing you're making up abominable filth and anything what the world is looking in search apart from the truth found for you in the original hebrew greek and aramaic of the bible we call it simply abominable filth let it be anything let it be anything a man has discovered let it be anything a man look at to consider upon we have a relationship between the brain and the heart we have kidneys to do this we have that to do this we have that x y z anything what they've come up into this invention whatever it might be anything it might be we simply call them abominable thing disgusting thing you know why these are fragments of imaginations anything what man goes on to conceive and believe and he says that thing to be true he thinks it true but the bible is something absolutely different because why man has been made bible only reveals the secret health for a man bible only reveals the secret purpose of a man bible only reveals that secret we cannot find anywhere on the planet earth or any creation of this what the man thinketh he has invented to look or make up putting all the galaxies together he cannot find the answer because lord god alone gives you the answer yehovah elohim adonai and this lord god almighty alone can give you this process of revealing the truth if it doesn't go to open up if it doesn't go to enlighten your spiritual eyes to understand the lord's mind according to the demands of the word of lord god you cannot realize you cannot understand it man should know not to eat abominable filth and today the churches have been occupied with abominable filth according to the things pertaining to the demands of the body they are making up the viewpoint of life to the thought process because they have the authority in the viewpoint and the thought process is not able to match their body is absolutely far away from the reality of the word of god and therefore not able to understand how much abominable they are therefore what they're happening they're not able to realize what is this great marching process in the fellowship of lord god the holy spirit which we need to do up. that marching process demands first you grow up into grammatics that's what the word kasir is all about you make up your thought process to be renovated as per the thinking of the lord's mind that's what the word kasir can teach to us 
If you haven't taken that kasir process in your life, that means you're not breathing in the spirit. If you're breathing in the spirit, you will surely make up kasir program in your life. Because this breathing in the spirit begins with first two, four, one, six, you're born again on this earth. As a soul. And 2421 will be the process of life being born again in the spirit. And that's what Satan could be like a lost soul or a lost spirit because he has rejected the salvation of which God the Father has given for them. But for us, we accept the salvation. Therefore, now what does he say now? If you breathe, where you breathe, breathe in the spirit. If ever you rain, where you rain, rain in the spirit. Therefore, what you want to do, so I can't march. And having on a march, grammatious program in a thought process, to be renovated as per the demands of the word of Lord God, that's what your life has to be actually, dear brethren. If you're not able to live such kind of a life, then you will never understand that you're still abominable filth. Therefore, in verse number 2 is the solution for us in Deuteronomy chapter 4. He says in chapter 14, not 4, You are holy people. Kadosh, you are holy. The people who are able to meet up the righteousness and the justice of God. We are going to satisfy the demands. What the righteousness of the Lord God demands, justice will execute. Therefore, the righteousness of the Lord God demands. Man should walk with Lord God every breath of his life. Those demands has to be executed. When these both are combined, righteousness and justice put together, then they're going to become the holiness of the Lord God. This is what it is. Righteousness and justice being put together. This has been made to call together to be the holiness of the Lord God. And today, many people have forgot that they are holy people to the Lord. They forgot these are the chosen people of the Lord God. You know, the holy people will be going through the process called to be an examination by the Lord God, called to be the word Bakar. And the meaning of the word Bakar is nothing but their brother. They have been properly examined to determine the choicest. So their body will build up a wall of fortification to renovate the head as per the demands of the Lord's mind. That's what Bakar is all about. Because you are a holy people and he goes to make you all to be the chosen people. He is going to examine you first. What's happening in your body? What's the wall of fortification you have? What's the thinking that is happening in your head? So this word Bakar, what we can call, is nothing but examination to determine the choicest. The example what we can look in Daniel chapter 1. For 10 days they asked for trial. Because they don't want to defile themselves with abominable filth. And those days when such forms of food was being served, it was a rejection for the king's food, it would have been death. But they say we don't want to defile ourselves. They stood for purity. And the ten days, ten days they asked trial. After ten days, they could be more healthier than what the other people they were eating. At the end of the chapter, you look a separation to the work of Lord God, a great commitment to the will of Lord God. What does it make him? It makes them to be ten times more in wisdom, knowledge, understanding. They were such choicest people. And no one, if you can understand, in Daniel chapter 5 or chapter 2, the next chapter of Daniel 2, 
king has a dream and they come back to say, apart from dwelling of a God whose dwelling is not in the flesh but in the spirit, they alone can tell you this dream. No man on the earth can tell you this dream. If it were a thing that you can remember and tell us, we could tell. But what we can imagine, what dream you might have got, king? And what sort of a matter it might be, who knows? And expecting something which is highly impossible from anyone. And they go to execute them, the order. And Daniel comes to know, Daniel looks into the matter and he prays to the Lord and his friends. What sort of a great king our Lord God we have? We have such sort of a greatest, choicest men being determined by the will of Lord God the Father so that we can purely execute nothing but the pale wonders of the Lord's mind accurately. The world doesn't know. We have that revolution by the power of Lord God the Holy Spirit. The world is still seeking to be finding out who could be the best one, who could be the choicest one, who could be XYZ. But we have now the solution. We can be the choicest one. We can be the best one. When? When we separate out from the abominable filth of this world. Therefore, what you have to do? Live in the spirit. If ever you live in the spirit, you also walk in the spirit. Your every breath should be in the spirit. How you have been led by the Spirit of God, you are going to grow up into gravity as your thought process will be renovated as per the demands of the Lord's mind. That's what your work will be on the face of the earth. That's how the things will be for you. Living in the Spirit, breathing in the Spirit, executing the will of Lord God the Father purely in the Spirit, 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 Spirit. And therefore God the Father has given us such an information on this earth what the world looks, we can look and say and simply tell it's abominable filth, fit for nothing. Therefore, you can understand every initial word and shall confess this is Christ, the Lord of glory. In Isaiah 43, in verse number 9, we look, let them come and sit and reason together and they will tell. This is the truth, we shall walk in it. You know why? Because we have such a revolution over here. And in order to give that revolution, he is going to choose those holy people who have been put into that great examination. After the examination, they will come back and conclude and say, yes, this is the trustworthy information. Such a bakar kind of people, we will be determined. The example, what we look in Daniel chapter 2, all the wise men of the Chaldeans and the wisdom men, they couldn't go to interpret that. They couldn't go to know that what is happening there. They couldn't give information on that. And then who could be the people who could tell that? And they say, whose dwelling is not in the flesh, such a God alone can tell kings matter what was there in his mind. And the king would say, you're just making time pass with me, you're making fun with me. Execute them, they're not worthy. And then Daniel comes to know he takes time. And then he prays. The prayer of Daniel should really teach us what man is really abominable filth. The thoughts of a man, how vanity they can be. This chosen category offers what we're going to look, dear brethren, if the people are not able to realize the great things of the Lord God. We can really not be able to understand. So, dear brethren, he said in verse number 28, Daniel answered in verse 27 in the presence of the king and said, The secret which the king hath demanded cannot the wise men, the astrologers, the magicians, the soothsayers show unto the king. But there is a God in the heaven that revealed the secrets. That's what a bakor kind of man, the chosen kind of man will be for the Lord on this earth. Because this chosen category of the people they will be all the time making up their body to build up such a wall of fortification to renovate their head as per the demands of the Lord's mind and they have nothing else than that to do. Every day they come only for one thing, for what? To reveal the instructions of the Lord's mind. 
So, dear brother, and here he would say, emphasizing the point that there is a God in heaven that revealed the word called to be Gala. And the meaning over here for the word Gala is nothing but your brethren, naked exposition of the truth. No man can know. Therefore, we have been said in 1 Corinthians 2, only the Spirit of the Lord God revealed us these things. No eye has seen, no ear has heard, no flesh can know, no heart can conceive. The things which the Holy Spirit of Lord God has prepared and kept for them, that they love Him. The same thing over here. Gala exposition, naked exposition of the truth. How was it be? He says over here to the viewpoint of discipleship program what it can be. There is a Lord God in heaven who revealeth what secrets. The word secret over here has been called as Raz. And the meaning of the word Raz over here is nothing but your brother. That which your head cannot dig and take. No matter how much you may think, you cannot dig and take. No matter however gimmicks you may do, however black magics you may practice, or how much of your hypnotism you may go on to practice, whatsoever it may be, gimmicks or whatsoever you can call. The word Raz over here is nothing but the viewpoint of man, how much he may try to dig and take, he cannot. Only the Lord God will reveal that. The same thing over here as well. On the earth, thinking that you can become a pastor, having to be saying so much of education under the sun, and able to make up many, many things. It's not possible, dear God. faithful training in the word of Lord God and then the secret being revealed for you by the will of Lord God alone then you can come and tell the mind of the Lord God apart from that you cannot thing which has to be revealed, it should be only by the will of Lord God. And yet, dear brethren, many people on the face of the earth think they have many secrets, many wisdom, many mysteries. <laughs> what wisdom, what secret? You are dust, you are dust, you shall return. You don't know that. And the spirit which Lord God the Father has given to you that is accountable to God, it goes to Him. While you are in the dust, going back to the dust, the property which has been by God given to you, the soul and the spirit, how much you are properly taken care of that? How much properly you have mended it to the image of God? And no other ancient wisdom apart from that, because all the things apart from the Bible you can call man-made inspiration. And man-made inspiration doesn't know what is the key. Because these are religion-minded books. Bible is inspiration of the Holy Spirit of God, Lord's mind. That's why we call Christ mind or the mind of Christ. We call it in Hebrews 3 5, the voice of the Holy Spirit. No man can intelligently try to pen in those words, give him an entire life. Like the way Tishandorf, the way how we used to get a copy by sitting there six hours. After six hours of him, he would make up. The exact copy coming back home, what he has read in the museum. Because nothing was allowed for him to make a copy of that. In the canonization of the scriptures, you can have this lesson of Bhutishan Dorf, you can understand that. So give him an entire Bible and ask a man to make it up duplicate of this copy. He cannot. Man can only explain the points of the truth. 
however great intelligent orator he may be however great the things they may be he cannot go to make up a copy of the bible because this is purely the inspiration of the holy spirit of god no man on the earth can make a copy of it trying to make up and match up the words over there that should be in the translation at least you just look he cannot match he cannot match dear brother even in the translations also he cannot match it what he has to be he has to be purely driven by the lord god to know the truth to understand the truth to make up the truth then he can realize the importance that christianity bible is not religion it's a relationship with lord god the father because over here the word what we can find called to be as secret no man's mind can go to intelligently dig and take no man's mind can do it let it be anyone dear brother no man's mind can do it the lord god from heaven he has to reveal this today people have been such sort of a uh, abominable filth oriented they don't grow up to become a chosen category and Deuteronomy 14:2 when he said you are a holy people you are a chosen people you are a peculiar people you shall not eat anything that which is an abominable filth that meant to say what not just the food though he gave them some restrictions in the past dispensation in the present he would say give thanks to lord god the father and he can eat anything he's not talking about the food it's not the food that goes to destroy what comes from inside that goes to destroy your thinking your thought process your every attitude of that which has been associated to grieve or squelch or wax or why or resist lord god the holy spirit that's what it goes to affect therefore apostle barnabas in the point of that acts love in he would say with the purpose of your heart cleave unto lord god the father serving him in spirit and in truth that when to say what it begins with your thought process to be renovated that's most essential for us nothing is more needed than that for us on the face of the earth your renovation process to be done so the food what are going to eat doesn't make any difference thinking for the word akel what we look over there we meant to say like a grammatious program what you have to join and what you have to grow up the food what are going to eat how is it you're eating the things pertaining to the human view point to the core which is an abominable filth then how are you going to get up to look upon the secrets the way how we can look upon in daniel chapter 2 should clearly tell the people who have been there like the wise men the soothsayers the chaldeans the wisdom and they come and they give a testimony saying that we cannot go the thing what the king is asking is unbelievable by anyone to reveal it and they would say whose dwelling is not in the flesh he alone can teach you that's what the holy spirit of lord god does for us when christ the lord our god prayed for us that when he's going to come he's going to teach us into all things and he's going to reveal nothing but the truth because he is lord god of truth and today people are grieving lord god the holy spirit squelching lord god the holy spirit you know what sort of a stupid life we are living now on the face of the earth clearly dear brother and if you can understand that the life that we are living today the life that we are making up today is really nothing but sheer rot without dark through and just look and understand what it is you may be thinking 
the man doesn't know if it hasn't been revealed by the Holy Spirit of God. Therefore, in Amos, he would say, he reveals his secret to his prophets. Why? He want to tell to the world what is the word of God and why it has not been understood by all because they don't believe in Christ. If they believe in Christ or believe in Yahweh Elohim in the past, he would teach to him his mind because he has made you in his own image. That's what even Moses would ask. What's your name that we need to tell? He said, I am the same thing what Christ the Lord of God could quote in John 8, 58. And many fools don't understand that the word Adonai, Yehovah, Elohim being mentioned over there, particularly the word I am meant to say Yehovah, which is called to be I exist. And the word Ehi God, Maria God, I am that I am is nothing but double expression of joy upon a man's face. You know why it's a double expression of joy knowing Christ he would be if not what will be your fate Genesis 1 2 clearly defines what will be your fate the words over here would say and the word and the earth was without form you know what without form the word without form over here has been called to be tohu you know what is that word tohu no authority upon your body to have an expression of joy if it is not the word Ehe or the word meant to say I am self-existent one called to be Ehe and the word Ehe is nothing but your brother double expression of joy in your body what is the earth he would say Tohu that meant to say what your body doesn't have an authority for expression of joy and from there what does it become it becomes void Bohu that meant to say what your body doesn't have an expression of joy it doesn't have any authority of joy neither your body has any expression of joy on it without Yehovah Elohim that is your fate without my Lord and Savior Jesus Christ that's your fate Tohu wabohu. And the word over here when he says Tohu, no authority. Therefore, when Moses would ask, he would say, I am at that exist. Yeah, hey. And the word eh, hey, 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 why a hatch nothing but double expression of joy in your body why you have an expression of joy because you have been eternally saved you have expression of joy because on this earth you can reign you can reign in the knowledge of bible doctrine under the controlling entering ministry of lord god the holy spirit and perform the marvelous glory of lord god the father because he has called us to be the holy people of lord he has called us to be the chosen people of the lord god and he has called us to be the peculiar treasure of the lord god revealing to the men to understand no flesh can reveal the secret apart from that God whose dwelling is not in the flesh and we are serving such a great Lord God how much thankful we need to be to the Lord in spite of that you're grooming and squelching and waxing and lying and resisting to Lord God the Holy Spirit. The people over there in Daniel chapter 2 time, if it were not for Daniel to be revealed and the testimony given by those astrologers or soothsayers or the men involving there in their life, if they, you know what they would say? They say in simple terms, dear brethren, emphasizing whether you believe it or not. If that God's dwelling is not in the flesh, he alone can dwell. If they wouldn't recognize that, the king has already ordered an execution for them. And they are say, telling indirectly for you, man-made gods are not gods at all. Man's thinking is absolutely abominable filth, throw it out. Therefore, we find the inspiration of the scriptures. 2 Timothy 3. The first Peter chapter 1, verse 20 and 21. They were moved by the Holy Spirit of God. And the word over here, all scripture being God prayed, Theonustas. What does it do? Only Lord God, the Holy Spirit, can give you this information. 
This people they are saying in Daniel chapter 2 whose dwelling is not in the flesh that spirit of God alone can give your dream King Nebuchadnezzar we cannot that means what man made tradition man made thinking whatever man thinketh to survive on the earth making gods of wood or stone or silver or brass or gold or XYZ comparing and exchanging the glory of Lord God to a lie and changing that glory to the standards of quadrupeds and bipeds of this earth. They would say they cannot be gods. They cannot reveal these things. Only the Spirit of God can reveal. And that Spirit of the Lord God today indwells in us. At the moment of salvation by faith alone in Christ alone, you have been given this Spirit of Lord God to be indwelt in you. You know what a marvelous piece of information we have. Only your association not to grieve or squelch or wax or lie or resist to Lord God, the Holy Spirit, but rather be under the controlling mentoring ministry of Lord God, the Holy Spirit. If ever, live in, if ever you live in the Spirit and if you ever you walk in the Spirit, make it up in the Spirit, he would say. If he would make it, what a great thing it would be for us on this earth. Only in the spirit of the Lord God. He alone can reveal to you these things. And the point over here. This man they would say. We cannot. And now when he goes and asks his friends to pray for the matter. When he comes to look upon that matter. He would say to the king. There is a God in heaven. Who reveals its secrets. Galaraz. He goes to give you a naked exposition of your thoughts. And that's why, dear brethren, when we have this word of Lord God, you alone know how to build up the strategy. Therefore, he said, it's a gift given to them to whom? Who are born slaves to Christ. In Revelation chapter 1, when he looked at the same thing over here, if you can understand, particularly teaching to this concept of the men in Acts 1, he would say, Theophilos, God found the category of the people, the people who have been found of God, who have been absolutely loving Lord God like a mad, called to be Theophilos, Philos, greater love than Agape. To them, he is going to reveal the secrets. And the world is awaiting for the manifestation of the adult sons, as Romans chapter 8. And today, many people are not happy to look upon those concepts. To make up your life in the standards of the Lord's Word, to make up your life in the thinking of the Lord's Word. What the intention of Lord God the Father is going to reveal the secrets for you, they are not at all interested to know that. And in return what they are looking, no Theophilos. They want to be born slaves to the Lord God. And what they want to become, they want to be still Tohu wa Bohu. If he is not a self-existent Lord God, you can never have expression of joy in your body because you are man without authority of the word of God. You are a man making up your body to rely upon the lustful patterns of the old sin nature to cherish and nourish you rather than real cherish and nourishment and enjoyment which could come through the pure word of Lord God. Therefore, where you reside, you reside in darkness if you don't have Christ, if you don't have the mind of Christ, if you don't have the salvation of the Lord, if you don't have the power of Lord God, the Holy Spirit to control you. If Lord God, the Holy Spirit controls you, what does it happen? It goes to build up a wall of fortification, to renovate your thought process, to become like a grammatious program in the Lord God. That's what the Holy Spirit of Lord God would do. That's the simple logic over here. You cannot be in darkness at all. The 
self existing lord god is the one who is going to reveal to you the secrets and in that he is going to reveal for us don't eat abominable filth <laughs> don't be misinformed and don't represent lies to be the truth that's what the pastor teaches around a severe punishment, says James 3.1. Therefore, the great instruction for the pastor, 2 Timothy 2.15, study to show thyself upward unto Lord God. A workman that needeth not to be ashamed, dear brethren, but rightly dividing the word of truth. Why? Because you have been to give nothing but the truth. That's why we are able to look from Jeremiah 17.12. Kise kabod marom. That's the throne of the high people who come from their sanctuary, which is in the holiness of the sight of Lord God. And the word kiss is nothing but they're going to become grammatious program in the Lord God. They're going to write up a copy of the law of the will of Lord God. And that will be absolutely glorious in the sight of Lord God. That's the throne called to be kiss a cabal. Hmm. Actually, pastors are coming from where? Day by day, the word of Lord God, day in and day out has to be taught. The fellowship of Lord God, the Holy Spirit has to be told. But today people are not at all happy for that fellowship. What is Christianity? You just look. Morons are going to ask the dark forces of this earth. What we look in Ephesians 6, principalities, powers, rulers and authorities to say, guide us the way we need to go. Tell us whether we invest in this business, it is going to profit us. Tell us whether we marry that woman or that man, we will be happy. Or tell us at what time we have to open up our home so that we cannot have the influence of the evil. And you call yourselves Christians? No way! The man thinketh first he can grow up in the wisdom of this world and then he can search the spiritual world. The spiritual world doesn't say so. The spiritual world says first, search me, my kingdom, my righteousness and all these things will be added to you. And in order to get the benefits of this earth, what are you going to enjoy in this flesh? You would say first have double potential to grow up as a gravitas program in the law. That's why we find the word cursed, arar. And there you can find pictographical representation saying, twice you had to be renovated. Be careful on those terms. Be careful. If you're not able to renovate your thinking, not just once, twice. If you have read the Bible in the English, go back to now take up the word of Lord God in the internet of scripture being taught by the bona fide gifted pastor teacher who teaches the word of Lord God every day for you. You have many things to change your course of direction of your thinking on this life. Just don't think you have read the Bible, have understood all the things are going to be better sometimes because the things what the word says in Philippians 4, whatsoever the things are true, honest and having virtue in them, they can be nothing but the word of Lord God for you. And you can't understand. At least by them, what translations are going to apply. You can at least live like a refined moral believer. But Christ, Christ our Lord of God, doesn't want you all to be a refined moral believer. He wants you all to conform to the image of Christ. Something far superior, which he would say, you can do greater things than me. And which he goes on to emphasize the care kind of life which the earth has to know. Because he said, indeed, as I truly live, the earth shall be filled with the glory of Lord God the Father. And when the earth shall be filled with the glory of Lord God the Father, the first thing will be, he want to expect he want to express you to understand the beast beast oriented kind of life of 2423 code which calls for you all to realize 2416 in the zopo on numa kind of life from there it leads you all to understand like the moses experience what he had in second corinthians 3 emphasizes the people couldn't look steadfastly upon his face but today you can look he said and afterwards from 2421 you can walk in the lord god like enoch 2425 which has been absolutely mortal kind of life in Christ since people are not able to reach the Zopo Aeon Numa kind of life how come they can experience the immortal kind of life and it's a very very sad thing for us it's a very very sad thing for us 
because many people don't understand what sort of a life it is for us. And they've been still fed upon abominable filth. In Daniel chapter 2 should give an response, it should give a response, giving you an explanation to understand. This and this categories of the people cannot survive before the presence of the Lord God. He said, the wise men, the Chaldean men, the men astrologers, the soothsayers, they cannot get the dream what King, what King Nebuchadnezzar could have in those days. Except the God whose dwelling is not in the flesh. They come and tell to you in simple words what their life or the mythology, what you're believing and practicing is absolutely sure. Art. They cannot take it to heaven. They are the gods of this earth guiding you for this world. And as we look upon the taunt put in 1 Kings chapter 18 or chapter 19, in chapter 18, yes, the Mount Carmel incident. And there we can look. He's taunting those gods, saying that maybe they are sleeping, maybe they are traveling, maybe this, maybe that. He's mocking them. You know why? Because they cannot give you the real fire from heaven. And the same thing with us as well. When they put a strange fire, when he said upon the, the, the Dethan rebellion, Korah rebellion, he teaches to them. In simple words, he teaches to us. The fire shall come upon from the heaven. Even the Red Sea being divided asunder and the people walking over there today, people are able to find out some of the proofs. The salt over there, which we can be taken up the, the fire of the pillar, the pillar of fire which comes over there when Lord God is making them to go through that. The burning points of that salt over 3000 degrees centigrade alone, then you can find those images. He said that salt turning into black is possible only when it has been burnt at a Fahrenheit of or centigrade of 3000 degree centigrade. And that is done because the Lord God alone is capable of doing that. And he did that and the people walked. You know, what does he say these things? Because he's the only self-existent one. Such a fire, Elijah is asking them to port. <laughs> You know what they do? They go to beat themselves. They go to cut themselves. They go to make up to say, let the fire come down. <laughs> Till evening he gave them a chance. And afterwards, what does Elijah do now? Because he knows the true Lord God is only one. His name is Jehovah Elohim. We call him Lord and Savior. Jesus Christ revealed in the form of the flesh. Sinful mankind look upon him and they can understand. And now he's been taught by the power of Lord God, the Holy Spirit revealed. By faith alone, in Christ alone, everyone can enjoy that. Not by your works, lest any man should boast. He reveals and gives to us these things so that you can look and learn and be saved, dear brethren. How many days more you want to be in this world enjoying the blindness caused by Satan to your eyes. Because Satan has blinded the eyes of these men so that they shall not learn to look the truth. Such a blindness Satan has caused. And today people are not at all happy. Such a blindness Satan has caused to such an extent that the people are not able to realize. And you're asking for soothsayers, you're asking for the magicians, you're asking for astrologers, you're asking to know your fate, going upon to understand, we will go to an computerized astronomy and he's going to tell us what will be our life, stupid moron idiots. You're called Christians? Shame on your power. The world itself is proving. In Daniel chapter 2, in 1 Kings chapter 18, they themselves confess with their mouth and they say, This dream, king, what do you want to ask? What do you want to know? 
whose dwelling is not in the spirit, only that God can reveal. And now Daniel is telling to king in Daniel chapter 2 in verse number 37, emphasizing the point that the Lord God, whose dwelling is not in the flesh, he alone in the heaven revealed the secrets of man. He revealed the secrets. And that secret is my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ came in the form of flesh. And he teaches to us, walk in the spirit, you will not fulfill the lustful patterns of the flesh. The same thing in First Kings 18 when he calls and he says, maybe they are sleeping, maybe they are traveling, maybe they are doing XYZ activities in this life, maybe they are doing this, maybe they are doing that. You know what is he meant to say that? No true fire can come from the earth. The viewpoint of man can never give that fire. The true fire comes from the Lord God. Therefore he said, don't eat the abominable filth of this earth, dear brethren. That which is disgusting. Abominable filth has been made because of the authority of what the viewpoint of man can be looking to support their flesh. If you are comfortable with me, I will be comfortable with you. What seemeth good for each other? That's what they make it up to be thinking it's right, but Bible calls it abominable filth. You make up your standards to be right and accurate with me, not with the world. You're not going to stay permanent on this earth. When I've been taken up in the rapture, seven years will be cleansed out. Daniel's 70th week to begin up. In the cleansing process, you want to cross check whether your gold, silver, precious stones, or wood they are subtle, and it's going to burn out. And no rewards. A gold kind of relationship is what you're going to enjoy now purely by the word of Lord God as it is. And don't come to serve Christ for the details of this earth, for the details of this flesh, for the details of your activities to be survived. That's why we have that passage in 1 Timothy chapter 3 which should really prick our hearts. Because many people are coming to serve Christ in the standards of this world which is absolutely vanity. He says it should be in 2 Timothy, not 1 Timothy, in chapter 3. This know also that in the last days, perilous time shall come. For men shall be lovers of their own selves, covetous, boasters, proud, blasphemers, disobedient to parents, unthankful, unholy, without natural affection, truth breakers, false accusers, incontinent, fierce, despisers of those that are good, traitors, heady, high-minded, lovers of pleasures, more than, more than lovers of God. And today people are operating in this realm, their brethren, they have a, home, they have a form of godliness, but denying the power, dunamis power thereof, from such turn away, he says, turn away from them. And today people are coming for Christ for what? Not to experience the spiritual information, but to sustain their life on this earth, which is an absolute shame. In 1 Corinthians chapter 15, in verse number 19, when Apostle Paul writes upon these things, he would say, If only in this life we have hope, called to be alpizo. The word meant to say to trust, making up his body in his soul, to build up a wall of fortification, to seek refuge, in the sense making up to build a wall of fortification against any pressure that would come upon the life and making up to hope upon, to expect upon, that is, to build up a wall of fortification to renovate their head, he would say, if only in this life we would have hope in Christ. You know, what does he say? 
We are of all men most miserable. Lovers of pleasure more than, more than lovers of God. This is your category. The word elegnos, the word meant to say to be shown pity. To such an extent you have been shown pity, dear brethren, that he would say, tomorrow at the judgment seat of Christ, you people thought of making up kindness to be a root. And the same thing what we need to look over here in Proverbs chapter 14. <laughs> You know, many people don't understand about these words. They just think they're making up their time on this earth. Any country could quote upon these words as we can look in Proverbs chapter 14 and the famous verse will be 34. As many people know when the political leaders might have quoted these verses. They don't understand the real content of this mind. You know, what does it say? Righteousness is exalting the nation. What is that righteousness? Called to be Sitkeno, making up no matter whatever may be the pressure from the rising of the sun till to the going of the sun, they want to make up to get every thought into captivity for Christ. And that righteousness, the strong code number, double six, double six, meant to say 6,666, is called to be exalting the nation. The word exalting is nothing but their head is been renovated and their blood talks the terms of the truth in Christ. And what is, and what is that nation? It is not just like the word Yami or the categories of the people. You know, the people who have erected that structure in their life given in the time for them. It's not just to be the hearers, but they're called to be the doers. And now what does it say over here? Men of most pitiable, we have read in First Corinthians fifteen nineteen. Here he says that same word called to be over here, cassette. Because over here, if you can understand your brethren in the English, it would say, for this word emphasizing that sin reproacheth to any people. That's the other part of the words over there in Proverbs fourteen. But here it would say in the Hebrew, emphasizing that. Kindness of the flock stems is like a sin offering to the Lord. You know, what is that kindness? Saying that, come, let's go to survive on this earth by making up some good deeds. Let's serve the blind people. Let's serve this. Let's serve that. Let's make an orphanage home. Let's do. Let's that. You know, at the cost of what? He would say, the flock stem. Who are the flock stem? The people who have denied completely discipleship program in the blood. And all the people are going to deny the complete discipleship program in their blood. Or well, not at all Christians. Because Acts 11 verse 26 defines Christians as them who make up every day to take up the cross and come to learn the word of Lord God. For a span of one year, what they have been trained, those trained disciples were called for the first time as Christians in the Lord God. And today we have to look what sort of a Christians we are. You are like a flock stem. If the acceptance of the truth exalted a nation, that meant to say what the righteous demands of the Lord God when they do it, that makes a nation to shine forth. Because the people will build up in the power of Lord God the Holy Spirit to execute the will of Lord God the Father. But the word over here, flock stems, what the lock, pitiable kind of life, cassette kind of life, a life which has been stated in First Corinthians fifteen nineteen, believing in the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ only for the sake of this earth, as many unbelievers in my country India they do it. Why they come to believe in Christ? Because they're going to give some oil. They're going to give some miracles. They're going to give them some things which are going to make them to say that they will be healed. They will be fine. They'll be good. They will be this. They'll be that. And that's what he says over here, the same thing. He says, kindness. And the word over here for kindness, we look, dear brother, and meant to say reproach. <laughs> It's not 
kindness. It doesn't have anywhere close to that. But the Hebrew says kindness, kasad, kasad of what? The category of flock stamps. Who are the flock stamps? The people who have who have rejected discipleship program. The people who are completely far away from the thought process of Bible doctrine. The people who have been absolutely making up their blood to say no to Christ. And what does he say? It's like a sin offering to me. When the categories of the people in the world, they reject discipleship program to the Lord God, everything what they make up to my Christ will be an abominable felt. It's like a sin offering to me. I don't like it. I don't love it. I don't want it. That's very simple, dear brother. And that you believe in my Christ only for the sake of this journey on this earth, <laughs> people will laugh at you. Unbelievers will mock at you. You know why they will mock? The same thing what you can find the two thieves on the cross asking my Lord. They talk to each other. The other one goes to tell to other. We deserve this. He doesn't do anything. And then he remembers, Lord remember me when the kingdom comes. And then he said, today you shall be with me in the paradise. You know why? Because he deserves. Because he repented. But over here, dear brethren, you can look the categories of the people, how these people they are going to live. They say, we completely reject discipleship program. We don't want discipleship program at all. We want what? The details of this life to reign in us. The details of this life to rule over us. That's what we want over here. So he said, righteousness exalteth the nation. And the word exalting is what, dear brethren, their head is renovated as per the demands of the Lord's mind. The head has been absolutely renovated in their blood for the thinking of the Lord's mind. And they have nothing else than that. If the head has not been renovated as per the demands of the Lord's mind or thinking of the Lord's mind, they're not exalted. The same thing over here, what we can look. Men are believing in Christ to come out for the standards of the details of this life, but not to look upon eternity. Therefore, he said they are lovers of pleasure rather than lovers of God. It's a very sad thing for us to note that. The lovers of pleasure rather than lovers of God. And that, dear brethren, day by day we can look. Though the spirit of, spirit of Lord God has been so preciously given importance in the past by those men in Daniel chapter 2 or First Kings chapter 8, they understand. When Elijah is mocking them, they know very well. Because they are just man-made gods. 850 men who are absolutely liars. As the same thing you can find through the many newspapers or the TV channels which are running behind the news but not giving the right and accurate information. You can understand up to what extent these people are liars to the core. You can understand that, dear brother. They're liars to the core. Because they don't give the truth. The same thing, this 850 men, what they are. 450 Baal, 400 Astaroth. And you can find the way how these people they are. And all the time they come to tell what? Lies, 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 lies. Feed lies, feed lies, feed lies. Therefore, no fire from the heaven. 
at this Daniel chapter 2 category people, they would say, there can be no one in the flesh of God to reveal that, except the Spirit can reveal that. The same thing what Christ the Lord of God could say. What I hear that I do, I cannot do by myself. Why? Flesh cannot reveal it. Only the Spirit. He was born in the Spirit. He lived in the Spirit. He reigned in the Spirit. He walked in the Spirit. He was crucified apart from the Spirit. Resurrected in the Spirit. He knows the power of the Spirit. The same thing he begs before God the Father to give that Spirit for you and me. And what are looking today? No spirit at all. You love to depend upon your man's intelligence, power. No, dear brother, it's not possible. You shall know the truth, said the Lord God, and the truth shall set you free. It's a process only one. You are living in the Spirit, walking in the Spirit. You will be that category of the chosen people where you will be holy. You are not going to eat anything called to be abominable filth. So dear brethren over here, if you can understand, coming back to Deuteronomy chapter 14, In verse number 2, you are the holy people, you are the chosen people, but care and examination to determine the choicest, as in Daniel chapter 1 and followed by Daniel chapter 2. In chapter 1, ten times more wisdom because separated from the filth of this world. In Daniel chapter 2, what those men could, complete, could conclude and say they cannot reveal by the power of Lord God, the Holy Spirit, the Spirit of Lord God helped them to teach. And then over here we can look. You're called to be a peculiar people. The word called over here to be as segula. And the meaning of the word segula is nothing but very peculiar treasure. You know what sort of a treasure it will be? In spite of any pressure that could be upon you, you're going to go up to make up a discipleship program to erect a structure in your thought process like the way how we are going to be living with the bread and drinking food, drinking water and eating food. So it shall be in your blood to say our purpose is to go and make disciples, go and make disciples to fulfill Matthew 28, 18 through 20, the great commission of my Lord God. That category of the people are called to be segula. They say our purpose of life is to go and do the will of Lord God the Father. Let the world may go anywhere. The hell with that, they would say. Because they have a heart which has been absolutely healed. Therefore, they're going to look into the purpose of the flesh which is going to live the true life of Christ. That sort of a life we have in the Lord God. Segula. I know what does he say now? These are above all the nations. These are the high exalted people of all time. Therefore he said, don't eat abominable filth, disgusting thing. Be the category of the people who are holy. Be the category of the people who are absolutely chosen ones. In the chosen category, we have read Daniel 1 and Daniel 2, followed by 1 Corinthians 15, 19, so that we can exalt it in the nation as Proverbs 14, 30 would say, or 34 would say, and emphasizing further to tell any kindness far away from the reality of discipleship program is like a sin offering to the Lord. And today people are happening to be offering sin offering apart from the grace of Lord God to this world. So dear brother, he says, this is a peculiar people above all the nations upon the earth. Why this blood of the people will be all the time associated to erect a structure for discipleship program. To erect a structure for discipleship program. Such a great life what Lord God the Father has called for us. And you still want to be abominable filth? 
You still want to make up your life which is far away from the details of the Lord's mind. And yet, the mind of Christ would give us one more day, one more chance to look, to realize and to understand what's the Lord's calling for us in this church. Dear brethren, which way you want to go? Though having eyes, you're blind because your spiritual eyes haven't been enlightened yet. Or you want to live a life which is contrary to the Lord's mind. You think it's your life, it's your thinking. Because life is too short for us to spend our time in vanity. Because day by day the grace of the Lord our God which has been given for us demands nothing but the truth. And if you still don't love the truth more than necessary anything else on this earth. <laughs> At least those unbelievers recognized in second chapter of Daniel whose dwelling is not in the flesh he alone can reveal. And the people of that time in first Kings 18 recognized they were false men who thought they were gods to them. The same thing in Revelation 2 emphasizes. They said they were apostles, but they were not. You examined them, you threw them out. Because you're great, he says. And still you don't want to love the Lord, Lord God's mind and thinking of the Lord God that's left to you. Because that great category of God-found people, Theophilos people, will be the bond slaves of the Lord and they will love my Lord more than anything else on this earth. So which way dear brother and you want to go you decide. Life is too short and the responsibility laid on upon our shoulders is too large. And today there might be some disturbances with the breeze and with the wind particularly the thundering storms and all which were earlier before this recording of the message because it rained very heavily. And if we could make up our time in recording these things, redeeming the time in the fellowship of Lord God, the Holy Spirit. And yet, listen to the Lord's mind as much as you can. If Lord God the Father has given you this time and grace to understand his thinking. So we shall come back and continue tomorrow as Lord God the Holy Ghost would lead us. To the praise of his glory in his matchless, marvelous, infinite, divine, glorious grace. So with our head, bowed, eyes closed, the closing moments being dedicated to those of without Christ, without hope, and without eternal life. Inaudible thing to Lord God, the Father, and the privacy of your soul, that you believe my Christ, my Lord, my Rock, my Savior, that's the wounded self, we shall have eternal truth. This eternal truth for us so very simple, believing Christ, we shall be saved. Whereas for the believer, the grace man has to grow up in grace and the knowledge of Bible doctrine, that with each other and acquire to possess know the truth, and the truth shall set you free. And for the pastor teaches, the grace man has to care so thorn for God. Herald the word in season out of sin because the diamond my witnesses where it have been called. The number one diamond my witnesses in Valentinity for the Bible in our hands. The number two diamond my witnesses are hearers. If there are no hearers, dear brother, not what besides nature, the entire entity comes to be witnesses and what is our work? Our work is to rightly divide the word of truth, no matter how the chips may fall. So which way you want to go, dear brother, and you decide, as we shall come back and continue tomorrow. As Lord God, the Holy Ghost, led us to the praise of His glory in His matchless, marvelous, infinite, divine, glorious grace. Infinitely divine, Holy Father, we are grateful and thankful for this great privilege, O Lord, to have fellowship with you through the Word. We pray the mentoring ministry of Lord God, the Holy Ghost, to enter into challenge and to bless us by this message, particularly to prepare us to know the power of Lord God, the Holy Spirit, to operate in the midst of such unveiled or unrevealed men who do not know the things pertaining to Christ. So, Father, use us mightily according to the will to make them to understand the Lord's truth in each and everything, O oh Father, so that you alone might be glorified through our lives. This section, Father, we pray that Lord God, the Holy Ghost, would enlighten and challenge and bless us by this message. In Christ's matchless, peerless, gracious name, we pray, Father, the Lord God, the Holy Ghost, enlighten and challenge and bless us by these things. In Christ's name, we ask, Sovereign Lord. Amen.